Hey everyone, I'm Nadia and my name is Santi. So today we're going to explain to you about how our characters eat multiple intelligence. And we're also going to tell you about eight multiple intelligences by Howard Gardner and our test results about that. And we also are going to explain our interview results and some history about national exam and also study tips for kinesthetic learners. Howard Gardner is the one who made the theory of eight multiple intelligence oh. and we are going to explain to you all of them. Multiple intelligence is ways to describe people's ability and talents. Kinesthetic intelligence means that the person likes to do activities that require body movements. Intrapersonal intelligence means that the person knows well about themselves and their self-awareness. Physical intelligence means that the person is good at music and rhythms. Logical mathematicals means that the person is good at numbers, problem solving, and logic. Visual spatial means that the person is good at memorizing pictures and they tend to enjoy watching movies more than reading books. People with naturalistic intelligence likes to study biology and science in general and they also like to be outdoors. Linguistic means the person is good at using words and phrases and they also enjoy reading books. So here's the bar chart that shows the result of my multiple intelligence test. The highest is 90 which is kinesthetic and musical. It goes down to 83 which is intrapersonal, 77 for linguistic, 73 for official spatial, 57 for naturalistic, 53 for interpersonal. And the lowest is 50, which is logical mathematical. And here's the pie chart of the result of my multiple intelligences. 16% for kinesthetic and musical, 14% for interpersonal, 13% for linguistic and visual spatial, 10% for naturalistic, 9% for interpersonal and logical mathematical. So, from the result of my multiple intelligence test, kinesthetic is the most dominant intelligence and it's probably true because I enjoy dancing in general and I also like to move around and I can't stop moving. While the least dominant is logical mathematical, which is probably true because I'm not good at problem solving and I count really slow. So these two charts represent the result of my multiple intelligence. So out of 100, the musical intelligence is 70, which is 16%. The kinesthetic is 67, which is 15%. The logical mathematical is 60, which is 14%. The visual spatial is 53, which is 12%. The interpersonal is 53, which is 12%. The naturalistic is 53, which is also 12%. The linguistic is 47, which is 11%. And the intrapersonal is 40, which is 9%. So the intelligence that matched me the most is musical intelligence. It is accurate because I love to listen to music, I love to sing, and 
Sometimes when I'm bored, I also love to play and practice my guitar. So the intelligence that matched me the least is interpersonal intelligence. It is also accurate because I rarely reflect about myself and also most of the time, I like being around friends rather than being alone. Good morning, princess. Good morning, Santi. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you ready? Yes. So what action do you usually do when there are exams coming up? I usually study each day and every day, one week before the exam. Okay, so where do you usually study for exams? Why do you pick that place? I usually study at my room because it's quiet so I can focus on learning. And when do you usually study for exams? Why do you pick that time of the day? I usually study at half past four until eight o'clock and I pick that time because it's my time after taking a nap so my brain is fresh. Okay, so when you are studying, do you prefer being outdoors or indoors? Why? I prefer being indoors because it's quiet so I can focus. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. Morning. I'm going to ask you some questions already. Uh, yeah. So, which one is easier for you? Memory-based school subjects or calculation-based school subjects? Why? Mm, I like calculation subjects. Why? Because uh, I don't like memorizing things. Okay, so which one do you prefer? Studying a long time before exam day or studying the night before exam day? Why? I like studying the night before the exam day because I'm too lazy to study long before the exam day. Okay, last question. Do you think studying is important? Why is the reason? Yeah, it's important because I need to get a good score. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Eloise. Good morning, Santi. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you ready? Yep. So, when you're studying, do you prefer being in a silent or crowded environment? Why? Um, being in a silent because I can focus more. And when you're studying, do you prefer studying alone or in a group? Why? Um, I prefer studying alone because I'm easily distracted by my surroundings. Okay, so when you're studying, do you prefer studying alone or with the help of a private teacher or parents? Why? Um, it depends if I study math or physics, I would need a help from a private teacher. Okay, so last question. Which one is easier for you? Memory-based school subjects or calculation-based school subject one? Um, calculation, because I'm kind of interested in that part. Okay, thank you for wasting your time on us. Have a good day. What action did you do when the national examination came up? When the national examination came up, I prepared national examination three weeks before the day of examination. When you were studying for the national exam, did you prefer studying alone or with the help of a private teacher or parents' wife? I prefer help of a private teacher because I, can, I cannot learn by myself. Which one do you prefer? Studying long before the national exam day or studying the night before the national exam day? Why? I prefer studying long before the national exam day because with the help of preparing, I can reach the best score. When you are studying for the national exam, do you prefer studying alone or in a group? Why? I like to study alone because I'm easy to distract person, so I don't like being in a crowded place. And it's easier for me to memorize something when I was alone. When you're in ninth grade, when did you study for the national exam? Why did you pick that time of the day? I usually studied at 6 until 9 or 10 p.m. because it's easier for me to learn or memorize something before I go to bed. And in the next morning, I usually review it again and again or memorize the missing part. When you're in ninth grade, where did you study for the national exam? Why did you pick that place? When I was in ninth grade, I usually study at my own room in my bedroom because for me, my bedroom is the comfiest place for me to learn or to memorize something. You at ninth grade, where did you study for the national exam? Where did you pick that place? So when I was in the ninth grade, I studied at Primakama, which is a course place near my house. Why well, I chose to study there because Primakama is known as a place for us to have some preparation for the national exam. For yeah, especially. 6th grade, 9th grade, and 12th grade. 
When you're studying for the national exam, did you prefer being outdoors or indoors? Why? So I will prefer to study indoors, like in a room, for study. Because if I study outdoors, there will be many distractions and I cannot reject it. When you were studying for the national exam, did you prefer being in a silent or crowded environment? Why? I will choose to study in a silent place because I'm a type of a person who can study in a crowded place. So I really need a... Examination in 1950 to 1965 is called as Ujian or the final of examination. Here, students had to write manually in form of essays and many sheets of paper are needed in this exam. At period 1965 to 1971, the national exam is famous as Ujian or UN or in English, country examination. The place and schedule where this exam is held is determined by the central government. The material is from all lessons that has been taught at school. From 1972 to 1979, the direction is rearranged and that is each school did the examination independently with the schedule and place that had been arranged. National exam's name is changed again on 1980 to 2001 and it's changed into Aptanas and Epta which is the last stage of national study evaluation conducted by the central government and the last stage of study evaluation conducted by the local government. The result of the evaluation is combined from the Aptanas and Epta with the average of the score must be not less than 3.00. In era 2002 until 2004, Aptanas was replaced by UAN or Ujian Akir National with the standard of the passing grade changed year by year from 3.01 minimum score for each mark lesson to 4.01 and remedial is available for students who didn't pass. On year 2005, UAN was replaced by UN or Ujian National with the passing score of 4.25 for students that didn't pass UN to join UN Part 2. On year 2006, minimum score for each lesson is 4.25 with the minimum average score 4.50. But this year, Remedial is not available for students who didn't pass. In 2007, there was no remedial. The student who could not pass the exam should take Ujian Paket ABC, the special final exam with some regulation, to continue the study. If they could not take Paket ABC, they could join UN in the next year. In 2008, UN for senior high school regulation had changed. The total lesson for senior high school UN raised into six lessons within three lessons before. In 2009, the minimal average score should not be less than 5.50 for UN lesson. Two lessons minimum score could be 4.25 and other lessons minimum score must be less than 4.50. In 2010, the minimal average score is still the same as 2009 and the vocational high school students had to reach 7.00 for their score in their vocational practice. In 2011 until 2012, there were five packages of the test to minimize cheating among students. The student in the class could get different package of the test. In 2013 until 2014, the curriculum issues happened this year. There were many pros and cons on changing curriculum in K-13. There was also an issue that UN will be removed. However, UN still exists up to now. In 2015 until now, the government has developed UN system into computer-based tests. But not all school has applied that system because the facility that haven't support them. So they still do the paper-based tests 
but the government is on its way to improve the facilitation. is a person who moves around to memorize something. So this video has come to an end. I hope this video can help you to learn ways to describe your intelligence. Thank you for watching and God bless you.